Hi. How are you? How are you, Jennifer? Hi, good morning. Let me figure out this video right here. <laughs> Hi, <Elle>. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We are waiting a couple of minutes so we can get everything started. Perfect. We're calling Gilberto from Joe Wooden Fear, and thank you for joining. Uh, this is the Ledger Personality Bloom Rum Table. So we're super excited to make this collaboration. Mm -hmm. Super excited to be here. Yeah, <laughs> super excited. Uh, how are you guys doing? I know that we're in different time zones, so <laughs> it's kind of, of complicated to coordinate everything. Yeah, it's a little... It's a little bit earlier here. <laughs> it's um, mid-morning here in New York, 10 a.m. And um, I was thrilled to see the different time zones and see how mm -hmm. flowers just bring so many people together from different parts of the world. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're super excited. Um, even though you're in the United States, I'm out here in Ecuador. Um, to coordinate everything and to get this campaign uh, going live with so many people, uh, aside from you, you guys, uh, it was amazing. It was a huge success for us. And, and also, uh, we love to showcase uh, your floral creations and your creativity that always surprises us. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're tr trying to join uh, Gilberto. Let me see what's Maybe if he calls us. I will write him. So do you guys enjoy, uh, I, I know we sent some uh, varieties again to you, so you can uh, watch them, also RP Moab, so if you don't get to know it, you now uh, have seen it. Uh, what do you think about us? I love working with Rosa Prima Roses on a, on a regular basis. Um, the, the, what, what I like the most is that there's always you can count on the consistency. You're going to get a consistent product. You know the quality is there. You guys have an amazing reputation. And it always delivers. The product always delivers. The colors, that consistency, the colors are consistent. The length of the stem is consistent. The life of the flower is consistency. So I'm always thrilled to work with your product. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. But the RP Moab is one of the most lovely flowers I've ever gotten to work with. Um, and I, it's just so big and fluffy and beautiful. It's one of my favorites, but we don't always get in Seattle. I'm still trying to figure out how to get access to Rosa Prima at the wholesalers. Um, it's a surprise. Sometimes they're there and other, you know, like it's not always available. Um, so I was curious, cause I know we had talked about that um, in the past about how to um, figure out how to get it more consistently would be great. Totally. So we can get started and maybe Gilberto will join us later. Okay. So <laughs> welcome to the Rosa Prima Let Your Personality Bloom Round Table. I'm Michelle Kibaka uh, from the Rosa Prima Marketing Team and I will be the host during this live session. Uh, we'll be beyond excited to wrap up uh, the Let Your Personality Bloom campaign with you guys, uh, Gilberto from Don't Want to Fear, uh, El Crocker from uh, El Florid Floral Co., and Jennifer Bernal from uh, Eternal Bouquets with Guillaume. Guys, tell us uh, how you're doing. Give us a brief introduction of your work and <clears throat> your personality to our audience. Awesome. I'm Jennifer from Eternal Bouquets in Middletown, New York, and I am a luxury wedding florist and event stylist. 
I love working with couples who love flowers and love an abundance. They like to make an impact at their events. They want to make sure that their guests have an experience. So my work is characterized for that, uh, giving the experience, something a little more than just flowers is what they make you feel and then what you remember about them. Um, and my name is Elle and I'm with Elle Fleury Floral Co. I am newer to the wedding industry. It's been just a few years. Um, I adore flowers um, for the sake of art and I love um, getting to design and walk that journey with couples to their um, wedding day. Um, and I'm just so grateful to get to be a part of this project. It was incredible. Um, I love Rosa Prima flowers and um, just having this opportunity to get to design with them. Amazing. So uh, for those who you might know, um, the Let Your Personality Bloom campaign a concept was to assign a personality that embodies the true essence of floral designers. So uh, each variety <laughs> and each a uh, Rose, a spray rose from Rosa Prima embodies that true essence of each a floral design. We work with seven a, designers and you can get to know the whole campaign on our website and blog. So the Baldas spray rose fire up reminded us of Gilberto from Dogwood and Fear. The sophistication of Lavender Irishka from the other side reminded us of Belle Crocker and the tenderness of Jennifer when we communicated with her a, of a assigning the, her, the portrait and beloved the spring roses reminded us of, of her. So a, aside from that, we worked with four more superb a, designers a, that couldn't join us today, but we are super grateful to a, get them collaborating with us in this amazing campaign. So I have a couple of question, a, questions for you girls. So let's start. What were your thoughts when you first, uh, when we first approached and explained the concept of our campaign? I was thrilled. I was super excited. I really was anticipating to see what's the product, what is the new thing that's going on. And I was actually at the same time a little bit surprised because as small business owners, you, sometimes you see it so far fetch that a big company like Rosa Prima will acknowledge your work. They will see that you're using the product and that you're, you're proud to be using the product. So I was, I was in a little bit in shock and then I was thrilled. Again, mm -hmm. like I said, that a big company like you with such great values and high quality of product will recognize a small business like us. And uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait to get started. I was super, super excited. <laughs> I was super excited as well. Um, working with you guys before I knew it would be quality. Um, I was also surprised about spray roses. Um, I think that, you know, you guys have your roses, ranunculus, anemones, and now the spray roses. So I was mm -hmm. uh, thrilled to get to see what the color was. <laughs> it was kind of mysterious, not, um, you know, knowing what exact color the lavender lishka was going to be. Um, because, you know, lavender, it, it had elements of pink to it, which was totally. just uh, a surprise as well. And super beautiful product. Perfect. Uh, so once you get uh, our Rosa Prima spray roses, uh, where the inspiration to create your floral piece came from? My inspiration came from the actual intention, from the actual intention and the, the personality in itself of the flower and how that personality related to me as an individual and to me as a designer. So Portrait and Beloved, the light pink spray roses, they represent that softness, the nurture. And I'm a mother, so that naturally would come to me after 15 years of having <laughs> a daughter. Um, I got the inspiration from that nurturing, from making the arrangement to uh, represent comfort, to represent softness, to represent love. The inspiration came from the intention of what am I trying to create with this piece? What, what sentiment am I trying to evoke? Which is usually where I get my inspiration from. What sentiment am I trying to, por to portray? What, what am I trying to have my recipient feel with this 
arrangement. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> so beautifully said. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I, I, um, the color is always very important to me um, and inspirational, like inspires my designs. Um, I love when I use color to, for, for there to be a story or it makes sense from one color to the next. And um, to be honest, I haven't designed a whole lot with purple and, um, or the lavender purple tones. Um, so I was a, like, a little intimidated, um, but you guys were so generous in all of the product that you sent. And so I had quite a range to choose from and so I just really um, paid attention to the the different tones in the Lavender Lishka and um, was inspired by all of the different roses that you shared with me to design with and tried to make it make sense um, and more pleasing to the eye. Perfect. Thank you, girls. Um, so I want to ask you if, do you find it challenging to reflect your personality while making your arrangements? I know that maybe it can be um, something that no, most, most people in social media know uh, from the inside, but what is it challenging? Was it easy? How was your process? For me, it wasn't challenging. It wasn't challenging because... Um, Opposite to L, I had this sign with light pinks on a regular basis. It's a color that I really, really, really like. And the fact that I, like I said, the personality of the flower in itself really matched my personality with that nurturing, caring, um, cuddling, handheld in. That was, it came very natural to me. So it was, it was almost like I could see myself in the flower and I could express who I, who I am in this flower composition. It was, it was very, so it was it very easy. It was, matches your floral style. Yes, it, 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 it really matches. I mean, the, the flower in itself, the ruffles, the endless layers and layers and layers and layers. It, it's almost <laughs> like, it was, it was, it was I was seeing myself <laughs> in the flower. So it came very natural. Ellie is smiling, she's laughing because- No, I love I, that. I was We're all so, so impressed with the flowers, with the, the layers were endless and I'm like okay there's right. another layer and another layer so yeah. it was very easy it was very easy I loved it it was very nice no <laughs> I I just I I was giggling because we are like I mean how we can relate to the flower and nature um there's so many beautiful analogies and I love that you say layer the layers of us as human beings um it was for me um I like to design intentionally and uh, really paying attention to each stem. Um, to be completely honest, I have been intimidated by spray roses, um, mainly because they're um, a little full. And, and I, so when I design with spray roses, I like to kind of deconstruct and take them apart um, and make them, you know, just to where each flower its moment. And it's funny because um, one of the arrangements that I made with almost just the Lavender Lishka spray roses was kind of a, it was like I had some left and I just wanted to challenge myself with trying to do a more Ikebana inspired design. Um, and I actually liked it the best, uh, <laughs> what I got to create. And it, it just, um, I just was super grateful to to get these flowers and um, do something just for myself in a way. Like this was, I mean, obviously so generous for you guys to give these to us to help, you know, honor these spray roses and bring awareness. But uh, personally, I felt like, you know, for me, what I got to create um, was just kind of outside the box. And so I've just been super grateful for that experience. And um, I loved it. It was awesome. <laughs> yes, awesome. Uh, also, the 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 main uh, objective of the campaign was also to like, as you said, uh, like uh, create that challenge for you guys to to. We love your work, but to create something that, uh, personally for us as Rosa Prima, we have never done it before. So it was a great experience for us. So we want to let our audience know what was your favorite thing about this a uh, collaboration. Oh, what I loved the most was being able to see that 
you can have similar ingredients mm -hmm. and every designer is going to create something different. Mm -hmm. That's what I like the most, which is very similar to what happens in real life with events, mm -hmm. right? You can have two designers, two different personalities, two different styles with the same exact ingredients and they're going to create different composition. Okay. I love the most was seeing the creativity. Yes. The creativity that everyone came up with something different. Different. Yeah. Totally. And different stylings and different elements that they added. Like even if you add candles, different candles. Even if you have fruits, different fruits. So that was really fun to see what everyone creativity, where their mind took us. That was fun. My yeah, favorite part I, of it. I <laughs> I echo that. I, I was most excited just getting to watch as the content came in and seeing how everybody like, and all of the colors like, um, you know, traditionally, I feel that the uh, more white spray roses are, are common. And um, so it was exciting to see all these vibrant colors. And then just that that monochrome concept, I feel is trending and so that was brilliant on on your part and I loved seeing how everyone interpreted it and then just getting to read the interviews as well that you had with each florist and how they were inspired by the flowers and their reasoning behind um, doing what they did it was so precious to get to see everyone's like affection for flowers and um, just how much they care for Rosa Prima that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and feel cared for I feel very that like it's so special to get to do that um to be a part of this and to get flowers you know for free <laughs> <laughs> so awesome and so, felt, like you said something for yourself too yeah. because on, for, on the regular basis you're doing yeah. compositions for somebody else's vision for mm -hmm. somebody else's mm -hmm. uh project right but doing something for yourself that's almost like okay let me nurture myself as a designer so i can continue to give right that was very nice right yes totally we want to showcase your personalities your work not only for as you as you told them for what you do to other clients but what you do to yourself to yourself to nurture that a uh, creativity And one of the of the main characteristics of the spray roses is that they are so versatile. Mm -hmm. That's led to do what we have done, uh, and as you florists have done uh, with your creativity, we have seven different colors of and personalities, and seven different uh, floral pieces that just mm -hmm. blow blows our mind. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you have a creativity, and to be part of this industry and see that a. Uh, made by your hands it's mm -hmm. super super uh, amazing thank you <laughs> so uh, one couple questions more so what how would you recommend a rosa prima spray roses and what would you tell someone that have not seen it yet um, i would like to see the spray roses um used in installations compositions I would really, I personally would love to use them for um, arches or floating installations. And I'll explain why. I love working with spray roses because they give, in my design style, in my opinion, they give you depth mm -hmm. and they give you dimension in the composition. So visually speaking, you can have you know, a larger rose and then you have the spray rose uh, place a little bit closer to your mechanics. So it gives you that sense of depth. So visually speaking, it looks it looks very nice. So I would love to see it in installations. And for any of the designers out there that are watching or that are, want, are gonna watch this later, if you haven't used Rosa Prima Spray Roses, you have to. You'll be blown away. They are so big and so fluff, so full. And like I mentioned earlier, they have layers and layers and layers and layers. And it's almost like every flower they are in the same color palette, but every flower has their own personality. Mm -hmm. Every flower has their own character, I'd rather say. So if you haven't tried it, you must. Yes. Your life was going to be completely different after you tried it. <laughs> I, agree. I agree. Like, um, all of your flowers are such quality. And like I said, I wish I could use them always. And I would um, encourage anyone to scoop them up <laughs> if they see them at the wholesaler. Um, and yeah, I what I think I said 
I mean, all flowers are beautiful. Spray roses are like a mini focal. And um, I mean, especially when you deconstruct them and like you've mentioned, the layers and the, the petals, what I noticed with the color that I received was that it was complicated. <laughs> it was cool and warm with like the lavender edges, but it, it got warmer as you moved into the center of the flower. And um, it was really special um, to get to design more of the like personal items, I feel like I created a, a floral headpiece. And I just think that um, like you, it's a more dynamic moment with those spray roses they're just layered like you said and um just capture you but just in a tiny way it's they're very <laughs> great girls thank you so much for joining us and um, so if you want to know more about the let your personality bloom campaign a uh, spray roses launch of rosa prima please visit our social media and website. You can see we give a space for all the beautiful uh, creations uh, these seven floral designers have made and collaborate with us. And we keep you t still here and see you the next time. Thank you, girls. Thank so you. Much. Thank you so much. It's <laughs> been an honor. Thank you. Meet you. Bye-bye. <laughs> nice meeting you. Bye.